Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, we've been walking around for about an hour now. Yep. And we stumbled upon a sidewalk street market. That's kind of, it seemed really spontaneous. We saw all these tents yep. of different colors and uh, we, we like to wander through and we're like, what's that? So we're gonna take you quickly through a random outdoor sidewalk street market, okay? We're going to open this video with uh, some street meat. So if you if you want to get some meat, you can just buy it on meat hooks in the street. And there's like six or seven of these. Uh, we got some fruit. I think we've got some crayfish over there. Crayfish, uh, there was one that was trying to escape. He was making an escape. He was doing a pretty good job of it too because the lady couldn't really get him back in the, in the deal. So we got a truck full of cabbage. Ni hao. Three for three yen. Is that? Yeah. Three yen for three yen? Three for three yen. Wow. One yen per cabbage. That's... That's like... That's pretty cheap. I don't... Yeah, I, can't, I can't believe how cheap that is. Six and a half yen is one American dollar. So you can get... A lot of cabbages. You can get six cabbage for one American dollar and still have change left over. Yep. So where do these vegetables come from? Uh, these vegetables... Oh, here's some fish. Oh, how? Ni hao. How? you. How? We got some fish. Uh, a lot of these vegetables come from... Oh, some Chinese alcohol. Man, I can't finish a sentence. So open open fields in between okay. developments. But just if there's an open plot of land, somebody plants some kind of vegetables in it. Uh, I see we got some more street meat over here. He's weighing it up. People actually buy it. It's it's some it's some good stuff. You gotta be kind of daring. I think most of the street meat they kill the pig like in the morning. Yeah. They bring it out. So the meat doesn't last more than one day. It is always all gone every day. Pretty much. I bet you they just eat the rest of it. Chinese people love to eat. Yeah. We've had some of that before. We bought it in uh we were in the north part of Chengdu when we were with your parents. Yeah, my, my mom and dad were more experienced with buying street meat. And yeah. I'm a little scared of buying those because I I don't really personally believe to do that. Right. I normally on the order online because I've yeah. stayed in the United States for it's, too long. It, it means it's okay when it's in a package, so we need, yeah. we need the American type package for it. <laughs> so we're still looking at a bunch of vegetables. Some of these might come from actual farms and they get redistributed, but if you want to go shopping, uh, there is a ton of produce here. You won't find any boxed cereal or any pre-made stuff, but... Uh, you might find some Chinese-style, uh, like, cookies for Chinese-style cookies, yeah. But, More street meat. Uh, we passed the chicken already, didn't we? Or the... Yeah, or the Pre-cooked. How much you want to bet they sterilize those hooks every night? <laughs> okay, they don't. They don't sterilize the hooks. I don't know. I don't want to say that. I don't know. So so far we've seen a lot of vegetables, some eggplant, uh, some squash. A lot of this is very seasonal too. Yeah. So depending on what month it is, you'll see different produce in it show up. Here's a massage place and a bunch of eggs. Chi don? Let us show. Okay, tiny dogs never have a leash. Every once in a while, the owner's like, "Where'd my dog go?" And they call out for it, and the dog comes back. They're just looking for scraps. I would be too if I was a dog. It could yeah. be a, a nice place for Prime. What is this in the white bottles? Alcohol. That's alcohol? Mm -hmm. Like cooking alcohol? Drinking alcohol. That's drinking alcohol. So bad the leader. Ah, That's interesting. Got some seeds that you can eat. 
Oh, Some more fish? You kidding, huh? He's cleaning the fish? They usually process and, and, and uh, help you out with it too. So if you buy a chicken, they butcher the chicken and they cut it up in pieces. And so we, we've already walked through this once. It kind of transitions into uh, clothing. So stuff that packs up pretty easy. And uh, there's no changing room, so you can't try it on. You can like measure it like this. You measure it by holding it up to you. Ooh, okay. These are Sichuan peppercorns. All right, they come in red and green. Green and you... means they're just cut from the tree. Red, that means they have been a little cooked okay. in the um, pot. Okay, because if you eat one of these, just one of them, you know because it, 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 it lights up your face and you can't feel half your face. Hello, Nihao. <laughs> so, this is we we've gotten into the fruit section. Fruit is like a big thing in China. It's almost like you don't have dessert; you just have fruit. Correct. Which now that I live in China, uh, I, I'm not used to eating such sweet stuff. So fruit is exceptionally sweet. So it almost is dessert. Jutsu, or the oranges. Oh, I can smell those. Those smell really good. What is this? This is pickled vegetables. Pickled vegetables. Not quite my favorite, but very good. They have a distinct flavor, and I'm sure if, if you like them, there's no substitute. So we're still on the sidewalk at an intersection. We keep going this way. Here, let's cut this way. So if you don't have a table to sell stuff, you just uh, post stuff on the sidewalk and you sell stuff on the sidewalk. So this is a child play area too. These are pretty common. And I don't know. I don't think they charge money for this, do they? They do. But but a very little one. Yeah, maybe like ten five won for that. Yeah, like a dollar in American terms. So not very much at all. Keep your kid occupied, that's kind of cool. Oh, some pretty hats. Some undergarments. These are snacks, okay. These down here are sausages. Yeah. And a bunch of like individually packaged trail snacks. All right, I think that's about it. The rest of it's a restaurant. So I want to thank you for watching. I know this was a short video. I hope that you saw a couple of things that you didn't know about China already. But uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I think you're awesome. I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. See you guys. Bye.